So, I thought I'd take you along with me. We're on our trip down to Parsons, the big town of Parsons near to us. And uh, we gotta go to the dump. That's our main reason for going down there these days. But we also gotta stop at the grocery store and pick up a couple of items there. And it's such a beautiful drive. It's such a beautiful day today. I thought I would take you along for the ride. A couple of people had expressed interest in seeing our side of the world especially my friend Adrian from, uh, well, you know him better as Harry Faber. But he's, uh, he's from France now, although he's originally from uh, Lyon C in Essex, England. As you can see, we're, we are having a beautiful day. Look at them blue skies, huh? And all the greenery is out. I expect somewhere along the way we'll see some uh, cows out meandering in the field. Of course, occasionally you'll see a dog wandering along the side of the road. And if you pay particular close, uh, if you pay particularly close attention. You might even see a house now and then. This is our side of the mountain. I should add that uh, we self-quarantined for about a month to do with the coronavirus. Of course, self-quarantine essentially for us only meant that we were not able to go to church. Uh, we were very grateful to be able to go back to church yesterday for the first time in a month and enjoyed fellowship and worship. And uh, our state has one of the fewer counts of coronavirus across the United States. In our county that we live in, had only four cases total. Two of them are fully recovered, no deaths. And uh, so things are pretty much going on as normal around here. Uh, when you go into the hardware store, occasionally uh, they were limiting the number of people in the store at one time. Um, and at Walmart, um, the employees there were required to wear masks and probably about 50% of the patrons had masks on. I confess that I had masks hanging on the dashboard in my car, but we never used them. Um, and with all the information that continues to come out, of course, this response to the coronavirus all began in ignorance and the experts didn't know how to respond to it and the models which are just that they're models not the real thing they kept changing because the data they kept putting into them kept changing and they're subject to biases and other sorts of things but the long and the short of it is we're coming out of it it is flattened out now and the best thing they're telling us is to get out, get in the sunshine, which I've been trying to do all along anyway. And living in the country, that's a, a benefit of living in the country. You can go out whenever you want because there ain't nobody else around. You, you got to understand that our house is a mile uh, south of Interstate 40. And we are the first, actually 1.1 miles to be exact. Our house is the first house on our road uh, coming down from Interstate 40, and you can't get on to Interstate 40 where it crosses over there uh, because it's just an overpass. Yep, just an overpass. And our next closest neighbor is probably another mile away. So 
we are pretty much isolated and that's uh we enjoy it that way that's what we were hoping for and we were glad when we found it and as it turned out it was the only house that was available for us to look at when we came down almost a year ago now to look for a house to buy and so we looked at this one house and we didn't need to go look at any others because we knew right off the bat this was the place for us and uh, so we have been enjoying our home in the country with our five acres of land and you've seen me building a, a chicken coop and of course you saw me remodeling if you want to call it that the shed into a, a workshop and Lord willing this summer once the chicken coop is done I'll begin working on the other side and uh, yeah we have been enjoying retirement here of course I retired 10 years ago now but this is uh, this is my idea of retirement living in the country and hearing the sounds of nature and watching the deer and the turkey and I have a little video clip I'll put at the end of this that came off of my trail cam uh, of a couple of other visitors we've had that we haven't actually seen ourselves you know because they come at night but we feed the birds during the day and at night the other creatures come in and they finish off whatever the birds don't eat so that's about where we're at today we're about halfway down now to Parsons and uh, I'm going to turn you off because you're probably getting bored watching my driving and the road we're on. Lots of things to see. Maybe I'll turn you on again when we come down into the uh, farming area. As you might be able to tell, we're going downhill because we live up in the hills of Tennessee. And uh, so to get down to the town, we have to go down the hill. And when we come home, obviously we come back up the hill. So, well, I'll leave this going for another minute or so because just ahead is the farmland that I was referring to a moment ago. And I expect, as we slow down, uh, that there will be cows out there in the fields. And, uh, yeah, my wife just pointed out that I missed some to the left. There's bunches of them. And she for forgets that I'm driving. So let me slow right down here, and I'll swing the camera around. few out there most of them are back further but the fields are beautiful right now if I swing back around you see how they have they're all yellow on top with a green underneath and I'm hoping that just down here there's a very uh, damp area and we saw a couple of uh, well I'm not sure if they were egrets or they were cranes, or what they were. Nope, there. We'll look down in here, off to the right. Well, there's a swampy area down in here. Yep. Maybe. And I'm going to take you out of your stand here for a second. Oh, and I don't see any cars coming. Nope, and I don't see any birds there either. No, I guess they're not there today. We just caught a glimpse of them the other day. Well, but this is the beauty of Western Tennessee. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching, for commenting, and for the thumbs up. Appreciate every one of them. Bye for now.
pan and carport coming. Yeehaw!